to us from Chelsea Football Club, from the Daily Telegraph chief sports reporter Jeremy Wilson and chief football writer Sam Wallace. The trustees of Chelsea's charitable foundation have, according to this report, not yet agreed to Roman Abramovich's idea to hand them stewardship of the club and only learnt of this dramatic plan yesterday on Saturday. According to Sam Wallace and Jeremy Wilson, the trustees say that they have major unanswered questions and are still considering the request. So you'll remember that yesterday afternoon during the Everton Man City game, an announcement made, a statement, a rare statement from Roman Abr Abramovich saying he was handing over the stewardship and care to the trustees of Chelsea's charitable foundation. Well, according to this report, the trustees currently have no idea whether Abramovich might also be about to be sanctioned by the British government and the nature of any sanctions. It is understood that there have been conversations between trustees since Saturday's announcement and lawyers who are now working on proposals for a potential structure that could be put before the trustees. Let me just put you in the picture of who the trustees are. Bruce Buck, the club chairman, is heading up this charitable foundation, which, of course, normally does grassroots football and local community work. The manager of Chelsea women's team, Emma Hayes, is a trustee. The executive director of the anti-discrimination group FAIR, Piara Power, is a trustee. And the chairman of the BOA, the British Olympic Association, so Hugh Robertson, plus two other men, Paul Ramos and John Devine. Tim Howard, this is, this is getting worse for Chelsea, am I right? Messy is the word that comes to mind. They, they kick off in a cup final in 10 minutes and this comes out. It doesn't surprise me because that statement comes 24 hours after. That, that's time that, that the trustees needed to digest this information because what I assume and read is Roman Abramovich made this decision, he's the owner, he talks to his chairman, Bruce Buck, who, uh, of the, of the uh, Chelsea Foundation, gives him the information, and then Bruce Buck has to tell all the other trustees. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any time for them to digest what they were getting into. As you mentioned, this is not what they signed up for. They signed up for charitable initiatives and, and, and grassroots football. Mm -hmm. This is a whole different ballgame. So, of course, they had to take a minute, step back, and assess what was going on. And so I'm not surprised to hear this. If you put yourself in the position of somebody like Emma Hayes, a yeah. Chelsea women's yeah. manager, mm -hmm. she does a massive job Absolutely. as it is. As Tim says, she yeah. signs up as well to be part of the Charitable Foundation and do mm -hmm. good work in the community. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're the front woman, one of the front mm. men, women, for a club which is thrust into a spotlight in the middle of a European war. You don't want that, do you? It, 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 it. Very much is a poison chalice, Rebecca, to the point where some people are looking at and we'll have a moral compass and we'll, we'll say, do I really want to be tainted and, and associated with this as things stand? And so, at the moment, we talked about this morning, this thing's got layers. Another layer's just been added and I've got to tell you, this is getting toxic very quickly. Do you think we're going to see some resignations from this board of trustees? I do, because I think to be a trustee of a foundation that's doing all the good work that, that it, it has done in the past, what, what's being offered at the moment is in complete contradiction to, to why you're involved in, and you're, 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 you're a person that, that wants to be part of, of doing good and, and, and helping communities. This isn't what Roman Abramovich has handed to you. At Wembley Stadium right now, Chelsea against Liverpool kicking off in 10 minutes. Neither team warmed up with any T-shirts, <laughs> any flags from Ukraine, which was surprising, I yeah. thought, Tim. Did you think after yesterday we saw Everton and Man City, of course, both of those clubs have a Ukrainian player in their ranks. Yeah. Neither Chelsea nor Liverpool do, but surely we would have seen something. I, I was anticipating we would absolutely see something, certainly from Liverpool Football Club, if not from both. So it's surprising. Uh, it's unfortunate that, that there wasn't more support there. There are some Ukrainian flags in the crowd at Wembley. I've had a, a little look. So there is some representation as people continue to support the people uh, of Ukraine. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.